Hello boys and welcome back to another video. So uh, if you guys didn't watch yesterday, I did like this 24 hour gold farming stream. So we completed it and we managed just to do uh, like all the uh, 24 hours of gold farming. And I made the spreadsheet about the farms that I did, like the duration, how long we did it and how much gold we made. So before I show you guys the spreadsheet, keep in mind that let's say I went and did RFD. According to Ludipress Challenge, you might have said that I made 90,000 gold, right? But then I'm gonna vendor like 98% of the items. So what I did was to get like a more a more real value, I vendored absolutely everything uh, besides from the items that I'm gonna sell. And I just checked the market value on those items and I uh, basically saw how much gold I was left with. So uh, the, this is like definitely not me running Sulfarak for one hour and just taking the market value from Ludopraiser because that number is going to be so much higher than what I'm really going to make per hour. So uh, yeah, it's more real value basically. So if I open up my bags right here, you can see the items that I did obtain. And uh, a lot of people stop by and ask me what the best item that I obtained so far was. And to be honest, I go far for 24 hours and I didn't get a single like decent item, like a, a good item. Not a single one. Nothing with a market value above like 80,000 gold, which is like this one. The Mac of Van. So uh, that, that was kind of bad. That was kind of bad. We did so many different farms and uh, this is the best item in terms of market value that I managed to obtain. But um, moving over to list, you guys can see the list uh, that I have right here of all the farms that we did, right? And uh, this is the duration. So this basically just means that I did it twice, right? I did it for two hours. But two hours of sulfuric only made me 40,000 gold. Like I only had items worth 200,000, no, 40,000 gold to sell on the auction house because everything else was crap. And everyone knows that you can go into sulfuric now, you can get Jade, Vanguard, Glorious, and it will like triple this gold per hour instantly. So uh, really unlucky with that one. Primal Fire has actually been nerfed, so we managed to get 40,000 gold out of that one. It's not too bad because it, it's guaranteed gold. We know it's going to sell. We did <coughs> Old Man. We did get the Shoveler and a few green items, so 35,000 gold from that one. Volta Water is really, really good. You actually get more Volta Water now, so 82,000 gold. I, I know that I made more than like 82,000 gold, but that was the market value of it. RFD, we did that twice, 137,000 gold. And the best farm that we did, which like, like the absolute best one, was Primal Shadow, 120,000 gold. We managed to get 266 Primal Shadow, alongside with like a bunch of materials. So that was a really, really good one. Stratom, it sucked ass, 12,000 gold. That's the, that's the worst farm, right? Stratum was the worst farm that we did. However, we did end up getting uh, the mount though, like the Baron Ribbon there mount, so I don't really mind. Soulstone Cave, complete dog shit, 25,000 gold. BFD, never been that unlucky in BFD, 17,500. Silitus, 110,000 gold. Silitus is Silitus, it's fucking insane, right? RFK, 56k. Karasan, really bad. And even got, barely getting a lockbox is man nerfed this one 100,000 gold not bad and uh, Karasan again 18 right I feel like this is a fuck up this should have said something else I'm pretty sure that these I didn't do Karasan twice but uh this was probably wait I didn't do Karasan did I do Karasan twice I'm not sure man I'm still tired as fuck anyways it was bad in terms of gold a whale in caverns, 91,000 gold, that's not bad. <coughs> Dark well plagues, 97,000 gold, we got a shit ton of those. And then Shadow Moon Valley Warlocks, which uh, some people was looking at epic plans and patterns, I didn't. And if you guys want to see the total gold, it is kaboom! We, have, we reached a million mark at least, so after farming 24 hours, like we got a million gold. Alright? That is uh, kind of as expected. Let's say that I would do Starlight Roses for 24 hours, average, like, let's say roughly 25,000 gold an hour, right? 
like 20 hours that's how much 500,000 gold so uh, yeah I mean transforming it gives you more market value by far right it's really good <coughs> but this is the like the real value I've entered absolutely everything that I I knew that I would have a lot of trouble trouble selling and that small items they definitely add up to like an insane goal per hour according to Luda Fraser. but uh yeah I just want to thank everyone for watching it was a lot of fun a lot of fun last time I did a 24 hour stream was May and uh I think it's gonna be a while until I do one again because you're really really tough like it, you can't compare it to sitting on your computer by yourself playing for 24 hours anyone can do that but streaming it like constantly talking to people and engaging with viewers like it's it, it's it's tough man but it, it's a lot of fun so i can't complain anyways i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye bye